In this video, uh, what I have done is I categorize all these uh, inventory items into A, B, Z, and A. A, B, Z, and A. I don't use C. A items are for where I receive 80% of the revenue in the last uh, six months. So the, these are the most active products. And, and B is from where I receive bottom 20% of the revenue. And Z items. These are the items, uh, they should be inactive. Uh, I don't have to place any order for them because uh, I don't have any stock for these items and neither I'm going to sell these items in future. But if you want to try, so this is the Z category is very useful that these are the items you never tried in the past, but you can try these items if you like. And E item, E category is, uh, this is the worst one. These are in stock, but not sold in six months. This is, this, these are uh, these all products are useless uh, for this particular store uh, what i have to do is either transfer these uh, items to other store which they can sell or either put it on clearance to uh, to, uh, to get the money out of this uh, dead inventory yeah that's it yeah, this is very helpful and now what I do is I show you how to do this in MYOB so I go in information stock I click it here or, no, or what I do I will so this is I do it this way. So this is the barcode. I have to type it here. The first one nine nine four one four double three nine six one six eight three one. Okay, so not coming up for some reason. I will try the second one seven five four nine six zero zero two zero zero five. So the first item might not be in this database for this particular store. Um, and what I do is I set it up here. Set it up to E. Press OK and commit. And this way, this is uh, I can see this in reporting what's in stock, what's in stock by choosing this category A, B. So this way, I can clearly see my report and see the value of that stock. Um, which is dead inventory. Yeah, it's very helpful for me to place an order.